driving and listening to your favorite music wow such a heavenly experience how about some bass to the music if you are a true bass lover then i have a better option for you yes the jbl gtx 1300 thi hello my dear friends this is arun and welcome to my channel in this video we are going to have a small review of the subwoofer compass tube the jbl gt x1300 thi i installed the subwoofer and the related components from an offline market this cost me around 13000 rupees including the labor so let's check out what all components are there first of all the subwoofer itself we will check it in detail later second one is the amplifier the jbl gtx 1300 thi bass tube doesn't have an inbuilt amplifier so we need to buy an external one i use the stage a6002 model by jbl itself there is a small knob in this amplifier which helps you to control the bass of the bass tube we usually keep the amplifier under the seat i have kept mine under the co-pilot seat then i put the platform mat over it to protect it the third item is the filter it is also called a line output converter i have used the filter of max link which is of very good quality the filter is placed in the connection to the speaker so that the audio will be split into the speaker and the subwoofer the filter will be kept under the dashboard and it will be invisible to us the fourth item is the wiring kit i have used the wiring kit of max link it is a 4 gauge 2 channel kit the quality of the wire looks outstanding the wiring kit will be connected directly to the battery we have a terminal here to connect this you can see this orange wire going inside it will be connected first to the filter second to the amplifier and finally to the subwoofer there is a fuse also here which will blow off on any voltage fluctuations now let's have a look into the subwoofer since it is already connected in my car let me take it out to show you as you can see the woofer is placed in the boot of the car and is tied with the help of two mounting straps you will get these mounting straps along with the subwoofer itself you can easily detach the base tube by loosening the buckle next we have a connection pin in the subwoofer this pin needs to be disconnected before taking out the base tube there is a knob in the pin we need to press the pin and pull it so that the subwoofer will be disconnected as you can see one end is connected to the base tube and the other end is connected to the speaker module through under the seat okay so the beast is here this is a passive subwoofer which produces distortion free bass sound and also it enhances the sound quality of the speaker system it produces a peak power of 1300 watts rms power of 325 watts and frequency response of 35 hertz to 200 hertz it have an impedance of 4 ohms this bass tube weighs around 8 to 10 kg one thing to note is that this doesn't have an inbuilt amplifier we need to buy an external one external ones are always better than subwoofer with inbuilt amplifiers the fit and finish of the cylinder is absolutely beautiful it feels so strong and sturdy this black covering is a kind of fabric now let us measure the size of this base tube first of all we will check the length let's measure it with a measuring tape okay so the length is almost 25 inches which means 2 feet 1 inch This is the front face of the base tube. The speaker mesh is made of metal and believe me it looks very strong. There is a small JBL logo under here. 
the speaker mesh is attached to the cylinder tube with four screws. Now let us measure the diameter of the front face and it is almost around 13 inches which means one foot one inch. If we look through the speaker mesh we can see the JBL branding and the model number through it. Now this is the back view of the base tube. This base reflects the woofer tube is enclosed with a vented port. JBL claims it has their proprietary aero cooling design which keeps the voice coil cool while optimizing power handling and long term reliability. You can see the subwoofer inside the tube through this port. The vent is mounted with a silver colored port attached to the tube with four screws. This silver piece seems metal or some kind of hard plastic but it looks quite hard and premium. It is written slipstream here. Slipstream is the JBL patented port design. It uses a double fly design to minimize the turbulence and eliminate unwanted vortices. Below to this port is the connection terminal to which the speaker points are connected. You can see the connection pin also here. This connection pin is connected to the positive and ground terminals. Here also you can see the JBL branding, the model number and serial number written in it. You can also see a quality test passed sticker. This module is also attached to the tube with four screws. Okay, now let's place the base tube back into the car. As already told, we will get two mounting straps along with the subwoofer. This mounting straps keeps the bass tube stable and fixed in the boot of the car. It is very easy to tie and untie using this buckle. Next, we need to connect the subwoofer to the speaker module with the help of this connection pin. It is very easy to connect. You need to press and push the pin to connect. I have placed a controller switch for the subwoofer just below the steering wheel. Because sometimes we might be traveling with our family and parents and they might not be interested in heavy bass. Instead of adjusting the bass in the amplifier, we can simply switch off and switch on the subwoofer with the help of this switch. Okay guys, now let's get into the main part of this video. Let's play and hear some bass boosted music. Because of copyright issues, I can't play any complete audio file. Please forgive for that. <laughs> Now let's have some surround audio. Please note, I have kept only 40% of the base tube capacity right now. Beyond that the window might shake and break. So let's check how much it shakes inside the car with this 40%.
this time let's have a movie trailer senators we believe that these titans are just the tip of the iceberg Finally, let's hear some music from the back seat. Okay dear friends that's all for today if you like this video please like and share post your opinions and queries in the comment section also please support me by subscribing to my channel and click the bell icon for further notifications see you later with another video till then this is your Arun signing off bye bye and take care